House of the Dragon episode 7 was very interesting, I think. I couldn't really see a lot of it. Let's talk about why. Hey guys, I'm Carl. Welcome to my movie film show. Feel free to subscribe down below if you would like to. But we're here today to talk about Game of Thrones, House of the Dragon, episode seven. And it certainly was quite an interesting episode. A lot happening, both good and bad. However, the bad was majoritively on the technical side. From a story point of view, there was a lot happening. The episode began with the funeral for Matt Smith's second wife. And by the end of the episode, he even had a third wife. He's getting through them pretty quickly. Perhaps the biggest scene of the entire episode is the confrontation between Alicent and Rhaenyra when they have an actual coming together, an actual confrontation, and somebody gets cut. Only a little slice on the arm, but you know, still some action. The kid lost an eye. There was a big fight between a lot of kids. For some reason, one of the kids had super strength. It was able to pick up another kid by the throat, and lift him into the air, and beat up four other kids at the, all at the same time. Sure. Why not? Also, nobody seemed annoyed that this kid just stole the dragon, but that was a whole other thing. It was the build up to him taking the dragon, which was the most controversial point of this week's episode. Not for any story reason or anything that happened within the episode from a story point of view. It was all because of the technicals, because for a lot of people, the screen was just black for a majority of the whole kid going through the beach. And even Rhaenyra and Matt Smith on the beach and some of the later part of the funeral, the scenes were lit very darkly. And this is something that's happened in Game of Thrones before, but it got to a ridiculous point in this week episode because like the kid is heading towards the dragon and all you can see is a little white dot as his hair bounces across the top of the screen and for such a big show to have such poor lighting and poor visuals is insane firstly people are going to say well they're using natural lighting they're trying to use the lights that are around this was game of thrones excuse when they had very poor visuals in season eight possibly season seven as well and yeah that's fine you're trying to use sunlight and moonlight and that's what they've said in the past was the reason for the poor lighting but a good filmmaker makes use of what they have. And there were certain shots within this week's episode where, for example, Matt Smith and Rhaenyra are standing in front of the camera and the sun is directly behind them. And even the most basic filmmaker in the world, most basic photographer in the world, knows that's a no-no. That's just gonna lead to poor looking shots. And that's exactly what happened in this week's episode. Your light source should be in front of you, perhaps even off to an angle, but putting it directly behind you is just gonna make your subject dark unless you've got a second point of light or a reflector or something like that we don't need to get into filmmaking one-on-one -on -one right here but it is a very basic of filmmaking to get basic lighting right don't put your light source your biggest light source behind your actor that's stupid and there's various points throughout this like they say they want to use moonlight and sure but that can be achieved look at something like nope jordan peele's nope came out not too long ago reviewed it not too long ago at least and that's one movie where i said in that it was fantastic the lighting they did outside where the only light source within the scene is moonlight. Now I'm sure they used actual lights and reflectors and stuff but Nope is a perfect example of how to shoot dark shots at night time and have it be visible what's actually happening. Being able to see what's on screen regardless of what TV you have because that's the lamest excuse I've heard so far for why the episode looks so bad. And some people might say well Nope is a big budget Hollywood movie. Well House of the Dragon is one of the Game of Thrones shows. It's one of the biggest budget TV shows of all time. There's no excuse for not having good lighting, good cinematics in every part of the show. This week's episode also featured one of the perhaps worst shot sex scenes of all time in the history of television or movies between Rhaenyra and Matt Smith. And sure, you don't need to go the whole nine yards. You don't need to show absolutely everything. But what they were showing was, again, darkly lit shots where you couldn't make out much. You'd see like a hand moving. And if you squinted a little bit, you could maybe make out the outline of a head. There wasn't a whole lot going on. There seemed to be a lot of extreme close-ups and just poor lighting again, which led to a very unusual scene as we went into the break. And as I mentioned, I'm not expecting them to, you know, show full penetration scenes here, but at least make your scenes look good. The show has done that in the past. House of the Dragon has had some very good scenes. Never mind Game of Thrones, which has had some phenomenal shots all the way through. Some of the most iconic scenes in TV in the last 10 years have come from Game of Thrones. House of the Dragon has had some really good visuals as well. These scenes were just completely out of character for this series, and they looked goddamn awful. And you don't have to be a big filmmaker or a big film fan or TV fan to know what looks good on screen. Your eyes do that for you. Generally, if the screen's completely dark and you can't make out a thing, that's bad visuals. And that's just a basic. There's no denying that. Although I'm sure someone's gonna pop up and go, the visuals are great and more important than the story because some gobshite said that last week. But getting back to the episode itself, as I mentioned some of the story points earlier with the kids stealing the dragon, the kid fighting the other kids, the kid losing an eye, and then the mother being angry and then wanting to take the eye of another kid. 
It was quite interesting. A lot building up, tension getting very, very high. Scene between Alicent and Rhaenyra in the whole, I guess you would call it, court when everybody's around and the king's questioning everybody. The tension they built up winning that scene was fantastic. Olivia Cook did a fantastic job of conveying that anger, conveying that wickedness to her that she wanted to take the eye, the vengeance. You could see that she was a mother scorned who wanted vengeance for her son. And I just felt her performance in that scene was fantastic. This episode has certainly set up next week's episode to be quite interesting, although now I haven't watched a preview for next week's episode but I have been told there's hints of another time jump which you know I've been suckered in by this before in this series where one episode ends and I'm left saying next week's episode is going to be fantastic when they wrap up all that stuff that they just built up and they skip forward 10 years in time if next week they skip forward another 10 years in time I might just give up on the show altogether they can't constantly build up and build up and build up and not pay off what they're building up and now of course they are still going to pay off what they have been building up overall but the smaller elements that they're building up are not getting paid off getting skipped over we're getting to a few years later and all those events would have happened years ago and aren't getting paid off for example at the end of episode five king collapsing at the end of the wedding next episode 10 years later and he's fine why leave it on the cliffhanger of the king collapsing if it's going to be inconsequential poor directing decisions like that and the lighting and cinematography throughout the show have plagued the show so far and the bad points have been equally as bad as the good points have been good hopefully that makes sense so overall an interesting episode with some poor visuals and this is where i throw it over to you guys to get your thoughts on episode 7 of house of the dragon